welcome back. And today I'd like to explain why you get these lovely rainbow colours when you hold CDs and DVDs in front of a bright light. Well, it seems like a very long time ago I held the first CD. I was at school back in the 80s then and it was quite a remarkable thing because we were used to records. But what was really special about them, apart from the uh, huge expense and the fact you needed a special player to play them, was these beautiful colours you used to get off them when you held them up to the light. And uh, we didn't really know what was going on. So let's mess around with this a bit and see if we can get some physics to try and explain it. So for one of the most famous experiments in all of physics, you might remember that Isaac Newton took a prism and put it in front of a source of white light, the sun shining through a gap in the blinds in his room in Cambridge. So I've got a very bright white light source here. It's a projector that gives out white light and I'm gonna put in front of it a prism. And you'll see straight away that we get a spectrum on the screen just like Newton got. So we know that the light hitting the DVD surface may be white light, but it's made up of all the colors in the rainbow. So we now know that white light's falling on the disc and as Newton showed with his prism, white light is made of multiple colors all joined together. And the other thing we notice about the DVD or CD is its surface is shiny. So maybe the shininess has got something to do with it. So let's repeat the experiment with a mirror. So I've got a mirror here and a mirror has got a shiny surface just like a DVD or CD. So let's see what happens when we hold that up. Well, you'll notice if I look over the top that you can see the camera, but there are no colors, no rainbow. So it can't just be the shininess that causes the light to split into its colors. So let's go for a bit of an explanation. Now, as with a lot of things in physics, this is quite complicated and there's always more to it than meets the eye, but I'll do an explanation that generally explains what happens. So a DVD breaks light into its component colors and you see spectra, you see what you might describe as rainbows. And a mirror, a mirrored surface doesn't do this. So there must be something very different about the surface of a DVD. Now, we know that the surface of a DVD can be shiny, but it doesn't do the same thing as a mirror. So let's have a look at what the surface of a DVD really looks like. Instead of being like a mirror, the surface of a DVD actually has recorded on it the data in a digital format. That's a series of ones and noughts, or in the case of the surface of a DVD, an up a down and up and a down. So I've got a grill here which sort of represents that. You could imagine a laser beam either bouncing off the top of the grill which is silvered or going deep into a pit and then reflecting from that. Now the tricky bit is each one of these pits or rises represents a bit of digital data and as the laser scans the disc it's capable of realizing which bit is a pit and which bit is a bit of high ground. But that doesn't explain why we see the colors. We see the colors because what actually happens is particular wavelengths of light go in and reflect off the bottom of the pit and they will join up with a wave that is reflected from the top surface. And those two waves will have traveled slightly different distances. So instead of coming out together as two peaks, they'll be shifted slightly. And this shifting of wavelengths means that if there's a shift of half a wave, then that light will be a peak and a trough and it will cancel. So you don't see that color. You'll see a different color. It's a very complicated concept, but I suppose in a simple term, the surface of a DVD contains lots of pits and lots of flat surfaces on it. In other words, it's rough, but it's rough in a predictable way. It's not rough like sandpaper, which is in a random way. And it's this that causes the light to split into its component colors. The surface of a mirror, of course, is completely flat. So here's an interesting disc. 
This one has a mirrored surface on the outside. In other words, it hasn't got any pits and troughs. It's completely blank. It's never been recorded on and the surface is mirror flat and it doesn't split light into colors. But towards the inside, we've got the data track with its regular pits and troughs and that has got a recording on it and that's the bit that can split light into different colors. So I hope you enjoyed that video and learned a little bit of physics. If you enjoy my videos, do please subscribe and also click on the bell to get the notifications. It's always nice to know it's worth doing. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you with another one next time.